Hello guys, thank you for watching this video today and last video in this series we looked at what the MMA 7361 accelerometer does looked at all the different pins and where you can get it from you can get it from icstation.com at a reduced price if you use the code Dylan ICS. all one word um, D is capital anyway I didn't show you last time how it actually worked and give an example. So what I thought I'd do is do that today with just a very, very simple experiment so you can see how it works. So the first thing you'll want to do is just wire it up. Now we're not going to be using all the pins today. There's ten pins on it. We're only going to be using five. We're going to be using the ones to power it to five volt and ground. If you, if you power it to 5 volt, it goes through, um, goes through a regulator which changes it to 3.3. So you could actually, that's what's got two pins here, so like that. It's got two pins, 5 and 3.3. Um, and you can power it to either of them. But make sure you power 5 volts to a 5 volt pin, 3.3 to a 3.3. When you've done that, you need to wire the ground. You know, you could use actually a breadboard for this if you wanted to. But when I used one, it was too wide to fit on a breadboard. And I thought that I may as well just use something else. Right, then, the only three others we're going to be using are the X, Y and Z axis ones. So that you can see what direction it's going in its acceleration. <coughs> now I will be showing you how the other pins work in later videos such as zero g detect sleep um all the others g select self test all of that i will show you them in a later video but just not in today's there will be a couple of parts to this anyway just put a uh, male female header pins on them and then you'll want to you can connect them actually to any analog in pins. I'm going to connect the the um, actually I'll do the X to five and then the Y to four and finally Z to three. Now right, that is all the wiring you need to do. You don't need to do anything with the digital pins actually. You don't even need a breadboard. Alright then, so what we need to do now is just type out the code, but only do this once you've done the wiring. Just uh, type it out into your Arduino IDE and upload it to your Arduino board. I'm just now going to very quickly talk you through it. So the first three lines we're creating three new integer variables. An integer variable means it's a variable that's a whole number. Uh, obviously it's not going to be like a word or anything. If it's going to be collecting data from the accelerometer. So we're just creating three variables there, we're just saying that they exist but we're not um, assigning them to a value or anything. Then in the void setup we are just beginning with serial monitor. So what we're going to be using is a serial monitor to um, display the values given by the accelerometer. Now if you want to use the serial monitor in any project you have to in the void setup say serial.begin and then 9600 now that is uh, means bits per second and that's the standard rate of communication between the Arduino and the serial monitor then in the void loop we are saying that x is analog read 5 which is what the x pin on the accelerometer the um, what analog pin it's attached to same with y and z analog read 4 it's going to read analog pin 4, 5 and 3 to see what values the accelerometer is giving. Then uh, in this, we're just going to print the values to the serial monitor. So serial.print x equals and then serial.print line x. So it's going to say x equals and then x which is analog read 5 which is connected to um, X on the accelerometer module and then we're doing the same with Y we're just going to print to the serial monitor Y equals and then Z equals and then at the end we're just putting a very small delay of a tenth of a second just so we get stable results 
Right, that is all the code, and it's fairly simple. If you know a bit of Arduino and a bit of the language it uses, then that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now I'm just going to upload it myself, and I'll show you how it works. Now, uh, I've now uploaded the sketch to my Arduino. And you can see here that when I move the accelerometer, I'll use change, which is what should be happening. If it doesn't, then you must have mis done a line of code or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what you should expect to see. If you've done that, then it works. If you if it doesn't work, then recheck your code, recheck your wiring. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and in the future next week will be another video on how to use some more of the pins. Alright, thanks for watching and remember icstation.com, you can pick it up, I'll leave a link in the description, code DylanICS.